Hey there, comic book friends and fans, it's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. I just went to the Berkeley Comic Show this past weekend, and I might have picked up a handful of books. Let's check out this haul. Alright, so I got myself a haul of books. Yes! At the Berkeley Comic Show, always a great time. It's a small comic show in uh, Berkeley, California. They do it like four times a year. It's in a gymnasium or multi-purpose room, essentially, of the Berkeley Adult School. And, uh, yeah, it's like 10 bucks to get in, 15 if you want to get in an hour, the first hour. After the first hour, it's $10. Um, I got there early. I already knew I had a stack of books waiting for me because one of the regulars there who helps to organize the Berkeley Comic Show had reached out to me ahead of time, told me to check out what he had on his uh, eBay page, and that he'd pull anything that I wanted down and give me 25% off. So special thanks out to my man there on that. Um, and then, of course, uh, and I'd say who it was, but I don't he, I don't know that he's going to offer that deal to everybody so i don't want to necessarily call him out for that exactly what he did but um anyway so uh, he was he was super helpful i came in there already with a, a debt load of uh, coming in the show but still uh then went around and picked up some more books uh from some other folks so let's just get into it um first of all one book i picked up at one vendor uh i already have this book but I remember somebody saying when I, after I had unboxed it, that they really wanted to try to get this book. So I'm hoping to remember who that was. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to go in my my giveaway bin for them. But that's uh, Captain America 122, uh, the Scorpion uh, fighting Captain America. I was able to pick this up for ten bucks. Um, so in nice condition. So I mean. I'm, I mean, it's like, you know, six, five, seven, but it's, it's perfectly great for that price. So hopefully I'll remember who it was who wanted that and be able to take care of them. All right. Uh, then we picked up a, a nice, amazing Spider-Man 174 for my run, my ASM run. Um, I don't have, I guess, obviously my focus has been one through 100, uh, which I only need issue three, but there are some books above 100 that I do need too. I'm especially kind of looking at that second 100 uh, books because th those Bronze Age Spider-Mans are starting to, continuing to start to heat up uh, popular. I'm not sure that I'm going to be super hardcore about getting every single one. I'm definitely not going to get them all slabbed like I did the first 100. Um... But anyways, a couple more books, or at least one more book for that. Uh, and then we picked up a Batman book I needed for my Batman 250 to current run. Um, only needing about 15 books left to finish that run to have every issue from 250 on. Um, and so this one was one I needed at two, issue 261. A nice double size from that block of 100 page 60 cent books that they did for a bit. Happy to have that. Um, and then, of course, Mystery in Space has been a run I've been working on for a while. So I met somebody had a Mystery in Space book I needed in Mystery in Space uh, issue 63. Yes, 63. Ten cent goodness. I was actually surprised I didn't have this cover or have this book yet. Um, I know I've seen it a bunch of times. and I think I've always seen it and assumed that I had it. And it never, never picked up because of that. And this time I actually had my list with me or looked at my list ahead of time or whatever. But bang, there it is. Of course, you know, I've been going hard lately at the cons on these Bronze Age horror books. And this was no difference. Here's some Tower of Shadows number three. These have just been fun books to pick up. Tower of Shadows, number five. And this go-round, I was able to get a bunch of these. Uh, basically from two sources. I got some of them uh, from uh, the ho uh, house, house of Comics and the other from Comic Web. Um, my goodness. I mean, some of these were are in really good condition. Um, and so, yeah. 
The Crypt of Shadows, issue one. And Monsters on the Prowl, issue 19. I'm almost done, I think, with my Monsters on the Prowl. Um, Creatures on the Loose, number 12. I was captured by Corilla. He's just been... These Marvel horror... Great, everybody talks about the DC horror, and some of these Marvel horrors are fun. Creatures on the Loose, check out this one. This one just reminds me of, like, John Carter. Uh, of course, it is also uh, the Warrior of Mars, uh, Gulliver Jones, right? Yeah, Gulliver Jones, Warrior of Mars. So, obviously, they're playing off of John Carter. Ah, uh, where creatures roam. Of course, these are, the, you know, these are, remember, these are like the reprint books. They're re uh, from the Atlas monster books that were out, but... Great covers. Fun to pick up. Look at the... They're so clean. Glop. The Glop. Um, here's a Tales of Suspense. I picked up issue 71. I've been... These I've been kind of grabbing lately uh, from time to time. Uh, and in low grade. I really have not been digging these out in high grade at all. Uh, 67. Just low grade has been perfectly fine. I just w want the covers to present somewhat well um, because I think that they're cool, really cool, and super undervalued. Um, at least the majority of them. Like, because most of these, I'm, I can pick them up for tw ten to fifteen bucks. You know, this is early sixties. Uh, let's see. That was kind of in the middle of the stuff. Here's some Where Monsters Dwell. So we go back to some more of the monster books. Uh, monsters Dwell, number 30. Oh, Gorg <laughs> Gorgola. This 35. Thirty-eight. We got a wrestling match, so I take that. Your uh, do a power bomb. The heavyweight battle of the century to decide the championship of two worlds. Uh, where monsters dwell. There's Grog. Grog is here. And then uh, this is a nice cover. Great looking book, too. Weird Wonder Tales, issue three. The Thing in the Bog. That's just beautiful. Uh, it Lurks Behind the Wall. Uh, Weird Wonder Tales, number four. Look at the size of it compared to these people down here at the bottom. These were just beautiful. These were, these I all I grabbed these weird wonder tales from Comic Web. These were awesome. I was joking with him. I picked up so many of these horror books from him recently. Here's number twenty. Uh, that over the last couple cons I've been to, that I'm a f r kind of running out of books in his uh, inventory of the stuff that I've been picking up. And he goes, "Yeah, I'll have to find some more." <laughs> uh, and then uh, here's Gorgila. Gorgila leaves. All right. Now, uh, fear not. I did grab a slab. Uh, I got, um, this was a $75 slab. I was like, steel done. I loved it. I was, matter of fact, I had actually was picking up a raw copy, um, but <laughs> uh put it back because I found this slab and decided to go with the slab instead. Uh, this is Tales of Suspense number 72. Uh, and it's not a key, but you got this giant Nazi robot coming through here. Uh, sorry about the glare. You can see Cap um, hanging onto the spikes on the feet as he's fighting this giant Nazi robot. 
and that you know robots sci-fi that's all good uh awesome android so yeah the sleeper shall wake awesome android mad thinker red skull and avengers scarlet witch and quicksilver and hawkeye all make appearances so there you are uh so that was the slab and then we get into the uh the couple the other bigger the well this one's not really big but it was it is what i was i've been pulling the captain america one through or 100 through 126 that i wanted to get in high grade one of those books i've been needing is this one here 104 i've been needing it in high grade but everybody who's had it has been wanting a really high price for it i was able to find a copy raw that the uh from a reputable dealer who thinks that it's a 9294 um I don't see hardly anything wrong with this book, um, so I tend to agree. So I'm hoping we're gonna get this one pressed and slabbed, and hope that it comes back in that same that range of 9.0 plus, so that way it fits the run that I'm getting and saves me some money. Um, next, the other uh, other two books, two more books. That we picked up here these are the bigger books of course as we always save the big for the end uh this one here tells the suspense 52 that's that first appearance of black widow that's the black widow in the background there let me try to pull it out of the top loader here the top loader's got a little extra glare on it there we go so the first appearance of black widow it's a low-grade copy but hey that's all right we got it we'll get that one pressed and cleaned and sent on out and then the last and final book a book i've been looking for for a while i missed out on a slab copy at a great price um talking to my buddy uh brian over at comic web he's had this book i talked to him about it at sacramento uh that set up the idea that his price was that he was asking for it was out of market um and he, he he agreed to take a look at it. I reminded him ahead of time coming into this con. I said, hey, I'm going to be there. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about this book. Uh, if you've had, make sure you had a chance to take a look at what the market is so we can uh, potentially work out a deal. I got there. I bet, you know, he had come down on his price. We negotiated a deal with a bundle of this with some other books. So I was super happy. To end up getting a copy that's probably about a 7.0 maybe it hits a 6.5 but i'm hoping for a 7.0 um <clears throat> marvel spotlight number two featuring werewolf by night so the first appearance of werewolf by night an awesome book there and i even threw it in the got the clear the nice thick clear backer board on there look at that nice and clean so there we are that's the hall. Obviously, a lot of monster books again there. Hence, we have another monster hall, uh, but also some great other books. Let me know what you think. What was your What's your favorite in there? Are you uh, the Werewolf by Night guy? Are you a First Black Widow? Um, the, the Captain America? Some of those TOS books, like the the TOS Slab, or all of those monster books? Those are the things. I don't know. Let me know down below. How did I do? What do you think? Uh, of course, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Help us out here at Comics Carrying Cancer. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, all the revenue from this channel goes to support Comics Curing Cancer and the American Cancer Society. Uh, want more information about what is Comics Curing Cancer? Well, check out this video here uh, on what is Comics Curing Cancer. Otherwise, guys, until next time, make sure you click what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including me. I'm just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.